Well, today we head to a completely new kind of location. This place is a ginormous factory, but it wasn't always a factory. This place has been used for numerous things, including housing soldiers. This was turned into a barracks during the war. It housed injured soldiers, but it was also used for some advanced technology research. The Ministry of Defence and BA Systems constructed a team here that were working on space age like aluminium um, to fight the battle against the Germans in the war. So a lot of history here and there's been a lot of deaths obviously at most factories there's a lot of deaths. But we're going to spend the night here tonight and we're not leaving till 6am so you already know. To rain, the quilt's gonna get wet. Oh, oh no! <laughs> that dodgy tent bag. Great. You come here, you. <laughs> We're not off to a oh, good start. Has the tent stayed in it still? <laughs> yeah, it has just about, yeah. Outline of some of it. What is up, team fighters? Welcome back to another video, and today we are abandoning camping again. This time in Cumbria in a place called Alcam. Flex will. Flex? <laughs> is, is he asleep already? Oh, yeah. Flex will tell you the history later on, but we have a special guest. We have Lottie with us. Hello. Now, Lottie, tell us your speciality. Um, so since I've been a little kid I've been able to see spirits, speak to spirits and hear spirits so I've done a lot of training and I'm sort of using that now in my adulthood to help spirits pass over. So when you say spirits do you mean actual ghosts? Yes, yeah I call them spirits but yeah they are just ghosts, trap souls. And you can see them just wandering around? I can, yes. So potentially if you saw one walking towards a device you could maybe tell us that it was about to go off? Certainly could try. Yeah. I mean, that would be on a scientific level brilliant. That's exactly the kind of thing we're looking for. Well, thanks, thanks so much for uh, coming along, especially on like a really cold winter's night. I think it's minus minus two yeah. tonight, or minus one, something like that. It's pretty damn cold. It's very but cold. but we, we've accommodated. We have brought you this succulent uh, <laughs> double quilt to compensate, not just our crappy old uh, sleeping bags <laughs> so uh, anyway let's uh, let's get in there and see what Lottie can pick up while we camp in this uh, haunted factory no let's uh, head towards yeah yeah head towards the offices So Lottie actually said that she heard two voices. Wasn't sure if they were living or dead. Did you hear that then? Uh, did you hear that? Yeah. What did you hear? It's two. two men. Two men. Where are we going? The offices. Offices, so, right. The yeah. offices, the main entrance, the main building. Right, yeah, I remember that. Sale, which is, uh, in my opinion, the creepiest part of the whole building. I walk, I will literally walk around here on my own all night, but in there. Right, okay. So there is a weird vibe in there. Okay. Uh, so Flex is our historian on this explore. I'm going to get some information off him soon. Very, very main entrance. 
So this is a quite an interesting story. Okay. There was a, you know, like every building has like a janitor or someone that looks after all the phones up and stuff. Mm -hmm. A guy called Ethan. He was very well known, loved the place, worked here for the majority of his life. Okay. Passed away and loads of people have heard him and seen him. Okay. We probably shouldn't have said that just yet. Why? To see if yeah. Lottie would pick up yeah. on it. So any of the ghost stories, let's see if Lottie yeah. picks up on it first. Yeah. Give me a chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the Well, I want to go somewhere where we can dump this first. This is heavy as hell. Yeah, let's uh, dump this and then we'll come around. Right, so we come on the, on the first floor. So you want to head down this way? Yeah. I suppose we could camp here. You are. Yeah? You are. Camp here. Yeah, good done. I was thinking about this before we came in. Yeah? yeah. <sighs> okay, so the place we're going to go and camp is an old ward for the soldiers of war during World War II. Possibly, yeah. yeah. Right, okay. We need to see what it's like for us. See what you think. But it was. Yes. Award, right, okay, let's go and check it out. Um, yeah, for basically treating injured soldiers. Right, well, let's go and check that out. Mm. And the, uh, okay, so we are pitching up here. This is the science block right next to one of the old war wards. Um, be interesting to see what happens down here. I'm going to set the camera up now. Okay, we've got the tent set up there, uh, we're going to have a fire here, we've got a door up and down there, so there's plenty of ventilation. Uh, oh yeah, it's got holes in it as well, so it should be fine. Mm. Let's get it going. So what do you think is going on? Um, I would say that there's spirits almost like around and they're curious what's going on. So there's definitely spirits there's here? There's definitely spirits here. Um, I wouldn't say anything malicious, just curious spirits that might have been here a while. Right, okay. Yeah. Can you tell me what you're doing with 
the crystals. Yeah, sure. I've got um, different crystals here. They help like keep you grounded, keep you protected. Uh, I just sort of no, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I might have. I may have some crystals of my own. Really? Yeah. Let me, uh, let me pull. Take pull. me for a crystal kind of guy. Let me pull out these bad boys. Surprise you! You've got a Yankee candle with you. Well, I nearly did. <laughs> uh, I've, well, I've got. I've got sage. Oh. Yeah. Well, obviously we're going to that uh, poltergeist house. We're sleeping at a poltergeist house. Don't use sage. Well, I'm bringing it. Mm. Bringing. I'm bringing sage. Um, right, let's see here. I tried to use sage and that really it wound well. it right yeah. up. For a week the house was absolutely I wonder why that would be. Well, because sage doesn't like to say it can get rid of its spirits. It just calms the energy down momentarily. If it's okay. a poltergeist, they're very strong with their energy anyway. So it's not necessarily going to do anything, it's just going to piss them off. Mm. It's definitely got power. Yeah. She, she comes downstairs, the fridge doors open, and things in the middle of the kitchen. She says that happens on a regular basis. Oh, Alright, well, let's check these bad boys out. I've got three amethysts and a smoky quartz uh, pillar crystals. You've been eating mine, it'll <laughs> <laughs> quite, quite chunky things, these, aren't they? I haven't got any. Yeah. But I am bringing some stuff to that house with us. I've got some protective stuff that mm -hmm. I can take. Really? Yeah, Black I've got, I've got tourmaline sense. is what you need. Mm. This keeps you grounded and protected and it gets away any negativity. This is what you need for both of you. Right, okay, I do actually have some at home, but obviously it's not on me. I have got some, but not that. I've got some of that hanging by the front door and the back door, along with mm -hmm. a white stone. What was that called? White stone? Yeah. It's not selenite. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, selenite's great to have around your home. Yeah. It will absorb the negativity and turn it back into positivity. Yeah, I have it at the front door. I have it at the front yeah. door and the back door just in case anything follows me home. Yeah. See? I'm, I'm you know, I'm down with the crystals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't got that yet. I've just got necklaces and holy water. Candles. Holy water, you're going yeah. back to the extreme. Yeah, you're going back to the old school. Sent it by a subscriber that was worried about me. Yeah, because he was being stalked by a vampire. Did you know? I did not know this, no. I got sent two St. Benedict's necklaces that were blessed by a priest, a bottle of holy water, and a candle that was blessed by a priest. Maybe, uh, maybe that vampire returned tonight as a different person. You know the story you was telling me before? Random on 42. No, I was talking about the uh, the Subaru uh, intruder. Subaru intruder. Oh, yes, yeah. indeed. Yes. 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 <laughs> and we've already got the potatoes on, ready. They're going to take a while, so get them on early before we start the paranormal. You're looking forward to a potato? I can't wait for potatoes. You do realise they are, it's probably going to be the best potato you ever have. Well, I'll be the judge of that, guys. And then, once you've eaten it, every other potato is going to feel so inferior. You're going to crave dance potatoes. How have I been coating my? No, you're not. No flex. What did you say? It's the best one I've ever had in my life. And you're never going to be able to have one again the same. I you've got, you've got to have it the same. I won the day after, and it wasn't as good. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to recreate it. <laughs> right, okay, so... We're heading to um, our first location to set up some equipment, but I'm leaving the CCTV camera here filming just in case you already know. You two ready? Yeah. We're ready. Right, let's go. Right, so whereabouts are you thinking of the first? Uh, I think the main, where the main entrance is. Right, okay. Yeah, where the fire was. Are you picking anything up around here, Lottie? 
The only thing I visualised before was almost, you know, like a trolley, but a long one, but like a metal one and almost like squeaky wheels. Yeah. Sort of like what I could visualise in here before. Mm. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, let's head to the main one. If there's nothing really lingering around here, head to the main entrance. That's going to be like a focal point of energy, really. People coming in and out all the time. It's weird, you can hear the birds outside. It's like, it's like they don't know what to do, when to wake up now. <laughs> It's like three o'clock in the morning and the birds are going to eat. That's three. Four. Right, so what about here? Yeah. How, how are you feeling about this place? There's definitely more energy in here, but I would say down there. Down? Mm. Right, okay. There's been a big fire here. Definitely, watch your step. Definitely has a spookier feel here. Yeah, that's so, sure. so, these are all archives and records. Uh, yeah, yeah, the majority of them, yeah. What, what happens is normally, or I think it's six or seven years, then they get destroyed, but we've got obviously. No one was here. The archives have been left. Right, okay. And they date back to 1940. Right. It's like a fire ripped through here. Yep. How are you feeling? I kind of feel like there was sadness around here. Sadness? Yeah. Like all of a sudden here. Like. See you what, Flex? What should, should we let Lottie lead the way in? Yeah. And we'll just yeah, follow where she. her senses take her. Definitely. Yeah. Something in here. Something in here. Mm -hmm. Gives me a bad Okay. Should we try and make contact? Can give it a go. It's very, the energy is very sad and it's quite heavy. REM pod and maybe the spirit box. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've learned how to turn the temperature thing off as well. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's a little red button underneath it. Do you want to do us the honours? So, what I'm picking up on is the lady. I would say she's quite, I would say lonely, but she wasn't just lonely here. She was also lonely at home, which meant she didn't really want to leave here. It was lonely, but it was comforting. Okay. But she was death, like an overwhelming sadness, mm. actually. Do you think we could maybe even get her to touch this? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, the lady that I'm picking up on in here, um, would you just be able to go over to this machine over here with the red light just so we know that you're here and you want to communicate?
or rip flat that way. Can you make a noise so we know that you're here? It might sound really random, but I feel like she's there. That's three. Not there. Like she's in that corner. I don't know if you want to like... Move it. Yeah. So, I was basically stood on her. No, what was that? Like... Oh, is it car? Okay, well, if uh, the lady in the corner would like to let us know that you, uh, my name is Dan, I mean, you're no harm at all. Do you want to introduce yourself, Flex? Hmm? Introduce yourself. Uh, my name's Flex. You may be aware of me. I've been here quite a lot. Or if you're too frightened to go near the little device on the floor, could you just make a knock on the wall or the radiator? Just so we know that you're here. I keep hearing like a, it's a bang, but it's like a, a loud thud. Like a thud, but that way. Yeah, but it's like, whatever it is, it's echoing through the whole yeah. place. But almost from this way. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, only, the only issue is, this place is a massive factory, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of pieces hanging off it, yeah. which could cause those bangs. Mm -hmm. My main concern with the bangs like that is someone's breaking something somewhere. Right, okay. Do you need our help? If you need our help, let us know by just touching that device on the floor, that little red light. Does, does it feel like she just wants to be left alone? I just feel like she's frightened, to be honest. Right, okay. Like, she doesn't quite understand what's... What's going on. Holy shit. Did you hear that? Mm. Well, yeah, that, I got... was, that was almost like someone tapped on no, that I... metal cabinet. Or no, I felt like my feet. I felt that vibrate. In my feet. Do you think the cameras picked that up? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. The Voices. Upstairs, the people used to use part for a party room. They wired it up to one of the street lights outside. It was quite active, but that's big, long gone. That's that's a completely different thing to what well, this room is. Though I don't think that's what do you mean. That 
I mean, like the the lady in this room, that noise is not connected. To oh, this. I know it's not. It's not people. It's almost like it's echoing down the halls. Are you hearing that as well? Yeah. What whatever that bang was. That was to a. Me? Can I just recreate what I think that noise was? To me. Yeah. Go on. Oh, I think I just. You said you found it on your feet. Yeah, so what you heard over there was um, a reaction to that loud bang. Whatever that loud bang was, it, sh it I felt it in the feet, which probably... So to me, it was almost like a, that noise I heard. Mm. Right. This, the, the noise that we heard, the, I don't know if Flex said the same, but it, that was, whatever it was, was our almighty foot yeah. somewhere. And... It might have made that cabinet make a noise because because right. I was down on the floor. Yeah, I felt it. The in. Floor. Yeah, well, there's a sub basement in that. Uh, there is bits you can't walk in them. But there is cavities. Yeah. It didn't come from underground no. though. No, it came from in that no. direction somewhere. I feel like this lady, she's frightened. She's wants to sort of just be left to her own thing. To be honest, she's not going to communicate. Yeah, but there's something going on down there. Mm. Right, it's a pass. If it's down there, they're trying to get our attention, is what I'm thinking, to be honest with you. This, um, there's more, there's this still is more the, foot. This is the area that I never feel happy in. Mm -hmm. Ever. Well, I don't know, I know like you said you like pick up on feeling and stuff. Go into that room now and you tell me I if it's all it. different than it was when we walked in here. Because some is. Yeah. What's that uh, service hatches oh, for okay. pipe work and stuff. There is a um, secret room. Yeah, I won't get in it, but I'll show you where it is. Look at the staircase. I think... Down there, it's underneath. Have you got a brighter torch, Flux? Yeah. I think the noise is coming from in there. What's the noise? Oh, it's gone. In here? No. Huh? I'll be careful on that floor. Why? Oh, don't go over there. Oh, okay. I think these, these were conference rooms. These were more... Mm -hmm. That type of thing. Do you know? What? Oh. Click, click, click. My bag. Should we just ask if the spirits were hearing before? Yeah. In here. Oh, sorry. The noises that we were hearing from before, if you were making them from in these rooms, could you just make another sound so we know that you're here? there's any spirits present, can you make us aware that you're in this room?
again, hello, my name is Dan. I mean you absolutely no harm at all. We're here to help if you want helping or if you need someone to speak to. We're also here to talk to. All we ask is you make a noise or head over to this on this table on this filing cabinet go towards the red light so you need to do go towards it like this and the closer you get you can change the colors I would definitely know that you're here if you get close to that Otherwise, we'll have to move on somewhere else. And I don't suppose you get this opportunity much. Go for that. Should try calling out. You've been here a lot of times. Yeah. Um, you might not remember me, but if you do, uh, my name is Flex. Um, if you do remember me, uh, you remember that I've spent a lot of time in here trying to look after the place. Um, if you do remember me, could you just please make some kind of little noise? Let me know that you are here or you at least remember who I am. In my chest at all. Not bad. No, I'm not feeling really. But whatever was <laughs> is just left. Yeah. If there was anything here. It's like you, you send something, you go there and it's cut yeah. off. Yeah. Maybe worried, yeah. maybe they're not mm. used to us yet. Yeah. Why are you picking up on down there? Because you're picking up on something. Uh, no, it's just that corridor, I don't like it. Yeah. Why? Every time I go down there. Like, what is it you're sensing? Because I can tell by your face there's something. I just. Because you haven't stopped staring. I just. I don't know. I always feel like there's somebody down there. All the time. I always have to. Every time I walk down there, it's like someone's behind us. Okay. All the time. Mm -hmm. At the end? Or at the no. middle? No. <laughs> Watch out for nails in the floor. Okay. That's kind of how it feels. It's like walking through other people's emotions. Yeah. Yeah. It feels thick. Yeah. Yeah. The atmosphere feels thick. Yeah. And then the same part of the house feels like fluffy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Right, okay. 
Okay, so our secondary um, investigation spot for tonight is going to be in this room where we still have some of the equipment, therefore potentially some residual energy left behind. So I'm going to set up a couple of things. Um, I'm going to set up the full spectrum camera, REM pod, we're going to do a spirit box and some cat balls. I love cat balls. Okay, so we've got REM pod, we've got music box, full spectrum camera, we've got cat balls, um, and we should be good to go. You ready? Ready. Um, that's, that's not good enough. Right, okay, again, my name is Dan. I mean, you absolutely no harm at all. We are here to help you if you need it or if you just need someone to talk to. Uh, we have plenty of devices around the room, ones that you can go over and touch and make light up, ones that will make noise, and ones that can see you that we can't see, and we can't see you from it as well, uh, if that made sense. Um, how are we doing? I also have a spirit box, which I will use soon if you don't communicate through one of the other devices. So again, feel free to go and touch one of them, any of them, to let us know that you are here. Her voice is in. What direction? What? What direction? Don't know. No. No, I can hear voices. Would you, would you like us to leave? If you want us to leave, make a noise. You're being very quiet tonight. If you want us to leave, you will have to let us know. If you want us to leave, set one of the little lights off. And if you want us to stay, make one of the devices make a noise. Please. Yeah, potentially. Mm -hmm. 
No, but you won't be able to see the cat balls going off. No, but but you, potentially, yeah. Mm. Maybe. Well, I've got one that's louder. You'd hear this one. Oh, yeah, I've not seen that one yet. This one's a double antenna REM pod. So if you wanted to uh, set you this one up, put that in that spot. just uh, open it up and uh, switch this one on. Yeah. Um, there we go. You might just have to give it a fiddle round when you put it down. It's cool that music box in it. It's freaky though. It is. You could have picked a jolly at <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he's a jolly good fellow. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> right, we'll definitely hear that one go off if it goes. Yeah. I've never had that one go off on its own okay, before. It's been Ever. In there. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the REM pods I've never had go off on its own. Um, this one I have, the main one we use, that's gone off. And my other one's gone off. Yeah, not that one. Never. And it's interesting because that one, it looks like a more oldie worldy device. Yeah, and exactly. I'm really inclined to go over to that one. Yeah. And it's got a, it's got a bigger uh, field of oh, energy as well, yeah. yeah. Instead, would you like us to talk through this device? This device, you can actually mimic the radio and we'll be able to hear you speak. If you are here, will you please clearly say hello in this device? Again, if you are here, please Say hello in this device. Okay, so if you don't want to say hello, or tell us your name, if you need help, please clearly say help, and then we'll know what to do. Sounds like it said the blocks come out. Oh, it's a dog cloud. 
That's what's happening. It's definitely something coming out. What's coming out? Can you tell us what's coming out? Cat balls going off. Oh. Cat balls going off. I heard something weird, that's why I shut it off. I heard a weird noise. Thank you for doing that for us. Are you able to set some of the other ones off? They're just down here on the floor. But it should go off by now. So is that constantly being touched? No, no, it just had a break and it's just gone off again. Oh, okay. Whatever, whatever's happening, it's it's got hold of it. Where's the other one? In here. Uh, there's there's one there on the table and there's another one somewhere else. Is that you stood over there? Is it the gentleman that said he was coming out? It's repeated, it's gone off again. If you have that much energy to set that off, surely you can set off the device next to it as well. That way it's undeniable that you are there. I heard a footstep. It's all we need, both of them to go off at the same time. It's all we need. Going off again. That's not long. No, come on, you can do it. You can set that other one off. It's getting cold in here now. It's getting really cold. Come on, you, you keep repeating that, but... Are you a male? If you're a male, can you just go near the other... the other um, object to the side? They like the mm. cat ball. Is it worth putting the other cat balls near that? Potentially, yeah. Just grab that, put it down there and see if they'll just be normal. It's just behind you there on the table. And there's another one just there. Yeah, you gotta shake it. Shake it or like a vibration of some sort. Just give that other one a shake, flex. Can we see the one that's behind me to put that? Yeah, let's see if it goes off. Right, well, there's two balls there now. Right, see if you can light them both up. You can do it, I know you can. I know you're just being a little bit reserved. But honestly, we mean you no harm, we just want to help. Are you hiding in that hallway from us? Just step inside this room, honestly, we mean you no harm. The atmosphere has changed now. What do you mean? It, this has changed. <clears throat> 
Do you know what I mean? Like no. before it felt like someone was cuddling us. Now it feels like there's no. That's the only way I can explain that. Okay. I feel warm as well. I know, I'm cold. <clears throat> what are you feeling? I kind of feel like like what you're saying, that someone stood in that doorway, but they're kind of watching us almost yeah. judgmental, is what I'm sort of getting. Yeah. I definitely feel like it's a male as well. Quite a big presence, I would say. Right. I feel kind of floaty. You feel floaty? Mm. Stay grounded. Obviously, we're here to document and to make a video, but it's not all selfishness. We do come to help as well. It's not just here for our own gain. We brought a very special person with us who can help you go to wherever you need to go to. You just need to have faith in us. Do you know? Like, did you feel a bit wavy before? Like a little bit unbalanced? Yeah. Oh, I was going to sound a bit bizarre, but almost drunk. Drunk. Is that yeah. how you felt? Yeah, like tipsy. Yeah, like a bit, un like a bit like that. Yeah, that's why I sat down. Okay. Is that you affecting my friends? If it is, can you say friends in the device, please? All we've heard, I think it said. So. What have you heard? If that said why, why do we want to help you? Why wouldn't we? I, I feel like that's more why you're here. Or why we're we here. Like I said, we, we are here to make a video and document, but it's not all selfishness. We are here to help as well, not just for our own gain. But I'm not going to lie to you, we are here for some kind of gain. A liar then. Mm -hmm. Right, so what I'm, I'm going to be honest what I'm getting at, this is a big gentleman, he, he was a big character, he's quite, you know, tall man, he thinks, you don't know what you're talking about, you can't help me, shut up, don't right, tell okay. me what to do, he's that sort of man, and I'm going to say, he kind of like to have a bit of a drink, is again what we're picking up on here. Right. Um, don't particularly think he wants to help, uh, wants us to help him. He's just like watching, but very judgmentally. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, you can leave. He didn't like that. Did he not? <laughs> well, if you're going to be rude. Just stop making me feel sad. You know, you could stand back and let someone else who wants to be helped, let them come forward. I don't appreciate being told to shut up. And surely you can appreciate that. Does he? No, he's laughing at you. He's laughing? He's laughing at you. Well, at least he gets it. Yeah. That's fine. Do you remember me? Do I look familiar? What I'm kind of getting is almost like he's, he's, he's walking backwards and forwards like this. 
right in the doorway, and he's kind of laughing as if to say, like, why would I ever have paid any attention? Is right. what he's sort of saying. Like, he thinks he is, like, top dog. You know what I mean? Mm. I think I know your name. Does that worry you? Say it, what's his name? Ethan. That's not him. Can you draw some sand, he said? Mm. Yeah, I think that might be somewhere else. Go with, go with what you're picking up on, because there's Ethan. What are you feeling from him? Sadness. Sadness, and well, like, in what sense? Upsetness about yeah. the condition. The condition of the building? Mm. Okay. Do you think he worked here? Yeah. Yeah? Mm. Right, okay. If there's someone here called Ethan, are you able to make us aware of your presence? Can you make a bang? Can you move something? Can you tap on one of the doors? Move one of the objects? Just so we know that you're here, because we would like to help you, because we, we know that you're quite sad. And our friend is also quite upset with the building, how it's looking now as well. So we do understand. Do you feel like you can't talk to him? Do you picking up on him? I don't think he's here, to be honest. Huh? I think he's here, but I don't think that's him. That's what I feel like. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, basically, if that makes sense. Normally, I feel like I'm being like, followed, like stalked, if that makes sense. Right. When I'm in that corridor. And now I kind of feel... Um, I would say the man that you've picked up on, was, like the big presence, would be that man, mm. not the Ethan person. No, because he was quite nice. Yeah. So why don't you call out to Ethan and see if... Yeah? Uh, if, if you are there, Ethan... What's that? Hi. What? Is that nice? I don't know. Ethan? Come on. What is that? Hello. It's like... It feels like lighter. Mm. Is that noise again? Can you hear that? Right, I reckon we pack up and uh, I reckon we head to campsite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have some to eat and set up a, power, a proper paranormal lure yeah. where we have multiple devices running around the tent. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Hot coals. Look how hot it is.
fried. Okay, so we're getting ready. Uh, we're gonna have our potatoes in a minute, and then we're gonna get inside the tent. I have set up REM pod there, full spectrum camera there, music box facing that way, CCTV camera facing us. Uh, we have another twin antennae uh, REM pod down on that corridor, so we're pretty much covered in case anything does happen. Um, I'm not going to sleep. I've got to, I've got to wet it. Um, last week's video, which was the asylum video, I've got to finish off. So if you do hear any kind of narrating talking about an asylum, it's just me. Don't worry about it. Yeah, just me. But let's uh, let's open up these uh, potatoes. Let's see if they're done yet. Yeah. I've no cheese this time, oh. but I got some country life butter. Oh, right. So the potatoes are done. Look at them steaming. Uh, slightly more crispy on one side because it was left on one side. This fire's getting hot. <laughs> Do you like it buttery? Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, one handed, guys, one handed. If you could rate the knife out of ten as well, that would be great. Oh, my knee's burning, I will do it. Right, I'm not to. My knee is actually on fire. Right, I'm going to pass that over to you. <laughs> let it cool down. I'd advise wrapping it back up a little bit. Okay. It's actually not too bad to hold. I'm trying not to get melted butter all these off. Um, okay, next up. There we go. Thank you very much. Blazing now. Hot, isn't it? I've never seen someone so serious about potatoes. Just seen you have cheese on. Freaking out, it's burning. Isn't it? Oh, God. Is it hot? Yeah. Put too much wood on that. I'm all sweating in here. I'm not surprised. See how close you are to me. You're about the same distance. Yeah, it's nice. Give us some nice little cinematics. This lens is so nice. That one. Yeah, that's enough butter to give you a heart attack, but at the moment we're living. <laughs> well, there's a spare potato if anyone wants to. Flex you normally eat it. Hey! He likes my, uh, he likes my tatties. They're awesome, look at that. Oh, that's hot. I'm organised. <laughs> right, if you, uh, if you need us, scream. Yeah. Might, might hear you. I'll be awake anyway. Right, I'm going to set my shoes off. Oh, it's a cold draft coming from down there. Jeez. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh. Oh, right, well, I'm going to edit. Try and get the uh, hinky video finished. So Flex, give us a rundown on some of the history of this place. Alright, well, it was built in 1940 and it was built here for a reason and that was the land. So the land was previously used uh, for a different business which we won't go into. Um, but it was built on something called blue clay and it was built on that because it's absorbent. 
So if there ever was an air raid or an attack, the building would not fall down, wouldn't get damaged, because um, the ground would absorb it. And in well, between World War II, the full building was painted in camouflage to blend into the surroundings. Uh, I've actually got pictures of that somewhere. Um, and then it was used as a barracks. So a lot of the soldiers from nearby, local soldiers, TA soldiers and stuff, uh, were stationed here uh, for quite a while. And downstairs there was uh, the ambulance room, as it's known, where injured soldiers and general, you know, injured people would have been tended to down there. Um, I'm not sure on casualties or anything like that, but that's where that would have went on. But yeah, World War Two was quite quite active, quite busy, uh, probably quite quite a hectic atmosphere. Um, I do know about three deaths. Uh, it's not very well documented, but it is there uh, in the building that isn't there anymore on this side. There was a big press. And I can't remember what the press was called, but there's different presses with different names. One was the Tanya Press, and these three chaps were working on it while everyone was on break. And it malfunctioned and exploded uh, with molten aluminium. Uh, so obviously the bodies were never found. And that, that is documented, I have read that. Uh, but yeah, it was generally a happy place. People that live nearby, this in Workington. Probably members of the family, like everyone's family probably worked here. And it was a happy place until it shut down. So, yeah, fond memories. It's, I think it's one of the weirder things because as soon as we get in the tents, we've done this a few times now, nothing happens. It's like dead sounds. I mean, like all the equipment's over there are all, all ready and raring to go. But nothing's gone off. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you'd think something. Yeah, of course. I mean, it, what? It's been it's been what forty minutes or so, an hour. Yeah. And nothing's gone off, and it's all there uh, running. Maybe letting us enjoy it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Before we go, we might get something. Right. Okay. Well, it is literally. It's about to turn six, it's ten to six in the morning and we are going to start packing up soon. Um, only because I have a two hour drive to mine, Ooh. but you know, Lottie has a four hour drive from here. I can feel that. Yeah, so um, we are going to wrap up in a minute, we're going to start packing stuff up. Um, very surprised nothing else has gone off, but um, hopefully... The full spectrum might have caught some of all the CCTV footage. Uh, don't forget that I am starting to use Patreon again now and I'm uploading all the uncut footage because obviously sometimes it's hard work going through it all and I miss stuff so I just upload the raw files to my Patreon and I think I've got it set. You can join it for a minimum fee, like a pound or something, something crazy like that because I don't know do if the money's just a place I can chuck all that content and um, only the serious ones watch it uh, without putting on a YouTube channel. So, yeah, all the uncut footage will be on Patreon. Patreon Exploring Refires. up and uh, we're just going to put the fire out and we're going to leave uh, another one in the bag Flex? Yeah taking them off very nicely How did uh, how did you find it like? I really enjoyed it, yeah it was good, good fun. You're looking tired I am tired, <laughs> I'm ready for bed <laughs> Right, okay. right well, let's, uh, let's get out of here Flex Yeah, I'm ready 
Uh, right. Oh, no, left. No. Okay. Oh, Flex, it definitely looks like it's changed a bit since last time we were here together, which was 2017. Roll the clip. Well, uh, I'm joined by some other explorers today. Uh, Flex Urban Exploring, uh, give me the location. Uh, we, we spoke online and I uh, decided, you know, let's meet up because we're literally only down the road, really. And uh, Oh, <laughs> do you remember that? I do, yeah. I look younger. Bro, that was... That, that was five years ago. Five? Yeah. Really? It was 2017, we're in 22 now. Oh, I keep forgetting about this. I, I keep thinking it's 2019. No, it's, it's not 2019. I'm stuck in 2019. Five years ago, um, me and Flex were inside this uh, facility. We're inside this facility and uh, a lot has changed. Well, Flex, it was a good one. Uh, what we're doing next, Poltergeist House. The Poltergeist of Cumbria. Okay, well, that should be a good one. We're staying there overnight? Yeah, staying overnight. Right, okay, that's interesting. Really? Okay, well, everyone go over and subscribe to the Flex Tapes. And Lottie, thank you so much for coming along. Do you have a social media? Yeah, Lottie Chinetsky on Instagram, but no one will be able to spell it. <laughs> Alright, okay, well I'll tell you what, it popped up on the screen there, so go and follow Lottie and see what she's up to. Anyway guys, thank you so much for joining us. Um, on to the next one you already know. Yeah? Let's go. Yeah? Bye.